hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this tutorial we will first uh, add some few lines on the profile.php file so after this div over here we need to include the the functions folder and then the delete underscore post dot php we will create this delete underscore post dot php file in this video but first we need to include that on the profile dot php file and uh, we will add another div and uh, its class will be equals to call hyphen sm hyphen 2 okay so so now we will open up a new file and we will save this in the functions folder its name will be delete underscore post dot php click save and now we will copy the connection variable from the functions dot php file and uh, open up a php and over here we will just paste that and now we will add an if condition so if i set dollar underscore get and then the post underscore id so if the post underscore id is set to the delete underscore post dot php file then first we will create a variable post underscore id it will be equals to dollar underscore get and uh, then the post underscore id that post id and then create a variable delete underscore post and it will be equals to a query query will be delete from the post table where post underscore id will be equals to that dollar post underscore id variable so this query will delete that post which the user want to then we will create a variable run underscore delete and it will be equals to my sqli underscore query then we will pass the connection variable and then the delete underscore post variable so we will just type if if the post is been deleted so then what we will do a post has been deleted we will echo that alert and then we will direct them to the home.php file the reason we put these two dots because it is in the social network folder so it will go back and then pick that home.php file so i think it will the delete button will now work so if we save all of our work and uh, just test it in the browser if we refresh our page and let me show you the database now we will delete this post i mean this one so if we click on the delete a post has been deleted okay Whoa, four. so the post is not deleting so let's just check our delete underscore post dot php file so we need to add a t over here it's get and i just added a post that so now we need to delete this post if you click on the delete the post has been deleted okay and now the post is gone okay we have on the three posts left if we just refresh our database look at here our post is now just gone so if we click on this delete button and if we click ok and that post is also gone so this means that our delete button is now working 
so now if we go to the home dot page page and create another post and if we click post then here is our new post and now let's work on this edit button okay we need to create this edit post dot php file so let's create that file so for that we'll open up another file and we will save this file in the social network folder the main folder and its name will be edit underscore post dot php and click save and now we need to open up the html tags and the title will be welcome or not welcome just edit post and we will copy this php codes from the home.php file and then we will just paste it on the edit underscore post.php file and also we need that html codes I mean the bootstrap code so we need to copy this all of that codes from there and then also the home underscore style dot css file link and paste it after the title inside this body tag we will open up a div and uh, div class will be equals to row and then div and its class will be equals to core hyphen sm hyphen 3 and then we will open up another div and class will be equals to core hyphen sm hyphen 6 and now inside this div we will add an if condition first let's open up the PHP tags and over here we will type if I set then dollar underscore get and then the post underscore ID then we will get a variable get underscore post and it will be equals to dollar underscore get and then the post underscore id and after that we will get a variable get underscore post it will be equals to select all from the post table where post underscore id will be equals to the dollar get underscore id variable and uh, dollar run underscore post will be equals to my sqli underscore query and then the connection variable and the get underscore post variable and after that uh, dollar row will be equals to my sqli underscore fetch and then array and uh, run underscore post will pass this run underscore post variable and and dollar post underscore c o n will be equals to row and then the post underscore content we will take the post content from the table and then after this php tag we will open up a forum and uh, action will be none and then method will be post 
rd will be equals to f and we will open up a center tag and then a h2 tag and then we will just type edit your post and then a br tag and uh, we will create a text area so text area and its class is equals to form hyphen control the total columns will be 83 rows will be 4 and its name will be content and inside this php tags we echo the dollar con variable so it will show the content of the post so if we click on the edit button then it will show this content on the edit underscore post dot php file and after this text area we will create a submit button so i just pause the video and type this uh, submit button so its type will be submit its name will be update and value will be update post class will be btn btn iphone info so after this forum we will open up a php tags and inside this php tags we will just open up a if condition if i set dollar underscore post and then the update button is clicked uh, then we will take the content of that text area so it will be equals to dollar underscore post and then the content and after that we will create a variable update underscore post it will be equals to a query query will be update post table and then we will set the post underscore content to the dollar content variable where the post underscore id will be equals to the dollar get underscore id variable so it will update that post uh, which the user wants to then run underscore update will be equals to my sqli underscore query and then we will pass the dollar connection variable and then the dollar update underscore post variable so if the dollar run underscore update work successfully then we will uh, just type in the uh, script inside the script tag we will create a alert and then we will type a post has been updated and then we will redirect them to the home.php file and after this div we will open up another div close that div and then class will be equals to call hyphen sm hyphen 3 and that's it and now if we refresh this page and if we click on this edit button undefined variable get underscore id on line 29 so get underscore post okay guys we need to change this variable name to the get underscore id not get underscore post because we are getting the post id so now if we refresh our page the error is now gone and here is our post text okay so now if we just remove that and just click on the update post it's not working okay okay so remove this t from there and now just save it and uh, if we refresh this page 
and remove that and if you click on the update post post has been updated okay so here it is guys our post is now updating and if we check our database the post is now updated so here is our post and i just found another error in this uh, on the home.php file we need to change this uh, name to the okay we didn't create this user underscore profile dot php file we will create this in the upcoming video so don't worry and guys this is it for this video and thank you guys for watching and if you are new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe and press the bell icon to stay tuned